For this workout, there were a couple times where I had to take a break. I've been training for three years. It's still challenging for me. It's an intense workout for a reason. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Marissa. I am a certified personal trainer and future dietitian. And today we are going to be reviewing a workout by Sophie, AKA Gains by Brains, particularly her 10 minute intense ab workout she has on YouTube she uploaded a few months ago. This popped up actually on my boyfriend's YouTube Discover, and we always like to try out new ab workouts at home. And this one came up, we got halfway through it, and I said, pause, this is too much for right now. I'm gonna review this on my channel and do the rest, the full 10 minutes then. So that's what we're gonna do today. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I do tons of influencer workout reviews and a bunch of other things surrounding health and nutrition. So if you're new to this style, what I do is I try an influencer workout, then I rate it at the end of the video on intensity, effectiveness, and enjoyment on a scale of one to 10. So you know which workouts you should try and which ones maybe to avoid. Maybe they're not the most effective for your goals. Maybe they're advanced when they're claimed to be beginner and you should avoid them because of risk of wrong form and injury. It can really depend. So I am here ultimately to guide you and educate you on which workouts are out there and which ones you should check out. Before we get into it, I wanna talk about something that I 100% swear by when it comes to post-workout recovery and getting back in the gym, feeling not as sore as I would if I didn't use this thing, which is the Opove Apex Massage Gun. I have reviewed Opove Massage Guns before on my channel, but this is by far the best, most up upgraded version, so I'm gonna show you it and just walk you through it really quick. Opove basically took everything from their original massage guns and just made it even better. Instead of just three or four heads to use, you now have six different ones. And you can see that the design is completely remade. It's still pretty lightweight and comes with the charger and everything. It is super quiet. I'm gonna show you on camera how quiet this thing really is. So let's just pick which one we want and we're gonna plug it in and get going. So here's the massage gun on its own. I'm gonna put in the head, turn it on on the bottom, and then there's three settings. And I just want you to hear how quiet this thing really is. I'm gonna keep it the same distance my mouth is from my mic. Here's low, medium, high. It's almost silent. I love using this when I'm trying to watch Netflix or something and use it at the same time. You really can't hear it. And I just use it after my workouts to improve blood flow, which will ultimately help with recovery time, reducing the amount of time that you experience delayed onset muscle soreness. So your muscles won't feel as tired. You're able to bounce back and train harder, which is what I love to do. So there you have it. This is the new and improved Opove massage gun. If you wanna try it out, I will have a link in my bio for you to get 15% off. All right. Now, let's try this workout. Interesting. Why are her arms like this? I don't know. Oh my God, these hurt. Okay, good old leg raises, nothing too crazy. I love these, actually. <laughs> We're doing reverse. Her form is impeccable. Imagine do doing these at the gym. That feels so awkward. It's like a reverse crunch, but in a butterfly. Well, she's proved to us why she has brick scraps. We're doing vacuums. I've never seen vacuums in an ab workout. Ah, oh, 
All right, for enjoyment, I'm going to rate it a seven out of 10. I think the types of movements she did were really unique and kind of fun. I mean, some of them were painful, but overall I did really enjoy them. I had never done a plank crunch up until yesterday. And I thought that was really cool to try new movements that I don't necessarily incorporate into my routines that often or at all. So that is why I rate it a seven. It wasn't boring at all. We didn't really even repeat any of the exercises over again, which can be tricky when you're trying to come up with an ab workout that's both effective and entertaining. So I think Sophie did a great job with that. However, I asked Joe what he thought and he rated it a three out of 10 for enjoyment, but he gave me his reasoning for it. He said, it's just because he doesn't like abs. So abs apparently are his least favorite muscle group to train. And therefore, I guess that wasn't his cup of tea, but take that with a grain of salt. For intensity, I am going to give it a 10 out of 10. These ratings really depend on if I'm able to get through the entire workout without stopping. If maybe I'm pushing myself to the edge, but I still continue on, I give it a nine. But for this workout, there were a couple times where I had to take a break. For that reason, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 for intensity. So keep that in mind. Maybe it's going to be a little tricky at first. <laughs> so think about it this way. I've been training for three years and it's still challenging for me. So if you're just starting out and you feel a little bit discouraged because you can't get through this workout, remember it's an intense workout for a reason. And I'm glad she labeled it as such. So you kind of had those expectations going into it, but keep that in mind. Don't get discouraged. You can always start small. Maybe do the first five minutes of the workout like we did the week prior and then work your way up from there. Or instead of doing 30 seconds for each workout, do 15 seconds and then take those extra 15 seconds as rest times because in this video, there were no rests. The only rests were easier ab workouts. So those bird dog, for example, those I considered a rest because they were a little bit less challenging. And then for effectiveness, overall, I am going to give it a 10 out of 10. You hit all of the major rectus abdominis muscles. It worked your core as well. She even went for working the transverse abdominis during those stomach vacuums. Now, if you are not familiar with stomach vacuums, I would recommend adding them to your routine. If you're trying to shrink your waistline, I always used to think that that was impossible. You could not do that with training. You had to accomplish it with diet. However, with this one exercise, pulling in your transverse abdominis just like this and really sucking it in can actually train your muscles to have that like vacuum effect, which is completely wild. In my free hourglass program on my website, I recommend to incorporate them and I talk about them a little bit here and there. So I was very surprised to see them in there. I actually haven't seen them in any female trainers ab workouts to date until now. And I think they are really effective. So that also gives it a bump up in the ratings. Joe gave it an intensity score of nine out of 10 and an effectiveness of nine out of 10 as well. Take that with what you will. So on average, it's a 9.5 across the board. I do think this was a really great workout for maybe not beginners. However, because it was very intense, I would say this would be more of an intermediate, even advanced ab workout. So if you are just starting out, I think there are better workouts out there for you. Not necessarily this one. I feel like I could have considered this a beginner workout or for all age levels if she included modifications in the workout itself, which she didn't. Because of that, I would say if you're a beginner and you don't have proper form down yet to avoid this workout because you could risk hurting your lower back if you're not engaging your core properly. These exercises in particular, especially when training the lower abs, require a lot of engagement from your core. You need to be tight and sucking in and squeezing those abs very intensely. And if you can't do that for an extended period of time, it's going to start to weaken and your back is going to start compensating. That is why I don't consider it that great for beginners. I did like that she had toe taps as the first exercise because they were a little bit of an introductory move into the more advanced exercises that were to come. Because of that, I think it was hopefully pretty strategic that she put them there first because maybe going into those more intense exercises right off the bat would be a little bit more challenging. And I 
like always incorporating some sort of warm up into whatever you're doing, whether it's a leg workout or an ab workout. Overall, I am just glad that she didn't claim this workout to be a beginner ab workout because it definitely isn't. I mean, if you've seen Sophie, her abs are so defined. You can tell she spends a lot of time on them and something like that doesn't phase her, but definitely phased me. I did this workout last night around five or six and it's now, what, 12, 1 p.m. the next day and my abs are already sore. I can't imagine how sore they'll be at the end of the day. So she definitely trains her abs a lot. So do not feel bad if you can't get through this workout without stopping or taking breaks. It's a great workout to build up to over time. So I would definitely recommend it for that reason. But just keep in mind that if you're just starting out, this may not be the best one for you. If you're a beginner or even intermediate, advanced, it doesn't matter. If you are looking for a personalized program that is actually tailored to your specific goals and needs, I have my one-on-one -on -one online personal training program on SoFitSociety.com, my website. I can design a perfect program for you and you won't have to necessarily look all over YouTube to find something that may or may not work. So you can have that confidence knowing that what you're doing is actually effective for you. I also just launched the SoFit Society app, which I have a promo video on my YouTube channel that you can actually check out. Maybe if the one-on-one -on -one program is out of your budget, the app is a great alternative. All of the programs on there are two to four weeks long, and they're actually inspired by some of the programs that I have used for one-on-one -on -one clients in the past. So you're still gonna get a great routine, and I'm just really excited to help more people that way. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, your weekend, your week, whenever you're watching this really, and I will see you later.